Hello and welcome to another one of my bizarre outdoor vlogs. This time I'm at uh, Small Water, which is uh, just up from Horswater. I mean, this is not a secret location. There's people camping over here. It's a camping spot. That's Nambell Pass up there. But it is a stunning location, as you can see. And that was a bit of a windy, rough night, but you know, I still enjoyed myself getting out. So I'm going to talk about um, the guitar player as a side person, side man, side woman, and uh, that kind of role that you can often find yourself playing in a band, even in a recording situation. So when we look at quintessential side people side personnel oh, you can look at a guy like Zal Clementson of the uh, sensational Alex Harvey band yeah, he's arguably the quintessential side man in my opinion but, uh, check him out Zal Clementson if you don't know who he is but uh, he's the guy you may have seen him in plenty of uh, you you know YouTube clips old TV clips of uh, the guy dressed in the clown suit <laughs> the clown makeup uh, the guitar player in that band obviously but, uh, apparently um alex harvey gave him and uh, the bass player chris glenn some great advice when they they first got together to form that band and alex apparently said that uh, when i'm singing i'm at the front there i'm the guy that's uh, project into the audience it's my time to shine and when uh, I'm not singing and it's an instrumental part or a guitar solo uh, I'll step back and it's your go <laughs> so that's kind of like a nice way of putting, uh, putting, putting it that you don't really tread on the foot, feet of the uh, singer or the leader of the band there it's a nice way of putting it. You're there to support them. And then when it's your moment to shine, you can shine. So, yeah, absolutely uh, solid advice there from Alex Harvey. I'd say the next piece of advice is just, just be a good person when you're in a band there. Just, if you, if you don't turn everything up on your lap. Just, just try and get a sound that's good for you sound that uh, is good for the band and a sound where the singer's not being drowned out the sound man's happy you try and find that happy medium just don't go there it's not your show not your gig don't go blasting just be sensible with that obviously you need to reach volumes where you, you're getting a nice sound but think of the singer i know there's a lot of in-ear monitoring these days but uh, if anything, guitar volume levels will come down on stage. So that's another thing I'd say. And of course, the usual, again, I'm going to apologise for the wind, it's picking up a bit here now. I'll move around a bit. These caves are amazing. These little caves. These caves here, they're incredible things. I'll just move up around here. Of Zilvin a bit. Oh, grapple a bit with that. So yeah. Don't be an a-hole. Support your band members, especially every time. The singer's the guy that most people are wanting to hear, really. Bands. Well certainly when there's the vocal lines. There's some friends over there, look. What do you think, lads? Support the lead singer? Yeah. I think so. I agree. I totally agree with me on it. Support the lead singer. Oh, they're off now, those sheep. So, yeah. Make sure, you know, the usual things as well that you, you know, re rehearsals and gigs that you're on time. Uh, you know your parts. You're not wasting other people's time. You know, you might need to help out with a bit of songwriting or arranging and that. So again, be available for that, help with that. 
all in all it's going towards making the gig and the band the best it can possibly be so yeah the uh, guitar player as a side man you'll often find yourself in that situation so just be aware you know it's not all about you you just got to be there you're part of a group and a band and the singer is the focal point of that so uh, i hope you got something out of that it just remains for me to say a very chilly blustery for august tatty bye